Hey, what's going on guys? Thanks for tuning in to the Prochelli channel today and there's been a very big update on the PS4 so if you haven't done it already, go check that. I think it's version 2.50. I'm not sure if that's the number but yeah. Anyways, in this video I just want to show you two great new features that because of the update has brought an enhancement to the PS4 remote play experience. So this could be on your Vita or any Sony Xperia device that has the latest version of PS4 remote play. And the first feature that it provides is 60 frames per second gameplay on your remote play device, which in my opinion is a great feature. And number two is the system resume function, which you can do on remote play as well. So I'll show you what that is in a bit. Now the first thing is to set up the 60 frames per second on your remote play app. What you need to do is update the app from the Play Store. So I'm using the Xperia Z3 tablet and I've already updated the app itself now once you've done that open up the app on the top right hand corner go to options settings and now if you have the latest version go to video quality and you should now have two options resolution I say on high and frame rate set that on high now as well so now you're ready for the 60 frames per second uh, gameplay on your device I'm gonna head back now and connect to the PS4 so now it's going to turn on the PS4. So I left the PS4 on sleep while I was playing FIFA and during a match. Um, so now that I'm going to turn it on from sleep with the remote play, hopefully it should continue the match where I left it. This is the new system resume function. Now unfortunately I won't be able to show you the 60 frames per second gameplay on this video, but I've already tested it and I can say in my opinion it really enhances the experience. So. Now you can see it's already powered up the PS4 and continued the match where I left it. I think I just scored a goal as well uh, by Munich. That's me. Yeah. So this is where I left it like half an hour ago. And it's simply continued uh, just when I scored the goal. And it looks really good in 60 frames per second. Especially in a game like this where you need precision movement. It really enhances that experience. It's like having the PS4 on the go. So it's really a great feature. Now for those of you that don't have a, a Sony device or Vita, um, you may have seen previous on we've shown you how to use the Remote Play app on any Android device, but unfortunately the newest version of the Remote Play app isn't available yet for that. So if we hear anything when it does become available, uh, we'll probably update on our Twitter, so follow us on at the Project Ali or subscribe to our youtube channel and hopefully we'll update you on the latest information regarding that okay that's good anyway that's enough for me thanks for watching this video don't forget to like comment subscribe or if you do have any questions i'll try and get back to you on that as well see you later peace out